investing in and staying warm sounds like a great idea, but it can be a dangerous one if the right precautions are not taken. A malfunctioning space heater was blamed for a deadly fire in the Bronx earlier this month. 19 people died, including nine children. So what can you do to stay warm without putting your family at risk? Our team coverage continues now with New 6's Troy Campbell. He went to the experts, the fire department, for some answers, Troy. Well, Orange County Fire Rescue says their first responders are prepared and ready for any weather related emergencies. Officials say it's space heaters that are the most common types of fires when the temperatures drop. Orange County Fire Rescue reminding residents as cold weather moves across Central Florida to not plug space heaters into extension cords and keep away anything flammable. Make sure there's a three foot perimeter around that space heater. You don't want it near pillows, couches, anything that can catch fire. Maybe it's a pile of laundry or the curtain. The family that lived in this home in Marion County told News 6 a fire on January 9th started near their space heater. Lisa McDonald says nationally, 43% of all fires during the winter months are caused by space heaters. She also says you should expect an odor to come from your home heating system if you haven't turned the system on since last winter. If using a fireplace, experts say to make sure the smoke has a clear path to travel out of the home. Grab up in there, make sure the flue is open so that, that the smoke is getting out through the chimney. If the flue is open and you're doing everything properly and you're finding that smoke is billowing back into the home, there could be a blockage in there. You wanna call 911 again, have firefighters come out and check it. And OCFR also reminds people if your power does go out and you use a generator, make sure that generator is at least 10 feet outside of your home. And lastly, they say now is the perfect time to check those smoke detectors to make sure they're working properly. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Thank you, Troy. Well, if you want to see